Two children have been giving a chilling account of how a headsman allegedly butchered their 15-year-old brother in front of them at Nshiaito, a small farming village in the Asante Achim North municipality of the Ashanti region. The unidentified cattle heather, according to the children, accosted them at a water source and inflicted machete wounds on the boy, killing him instantly. The villagers searched the area minutes later and arrested three headsmen and handed them over to the Agogo police. The indigents are calling for a government intervention to prevent a resurgence of an age-old conflict between community and its men. Love FM Sirasa Saridonko was in the community and now reports. Enshaeso is a farming community with a long history of headsmen cattle invasion of farms. But Monday's butchering of 15-year-old David Anaria has shocked the entire community. What was supposed to be a daily chore of fetching water with their elderly sibling turned bloody. So this is the water source for both the grazing cattle for the Fulani herdsmen and farmers who farm around this area. Now this is where the crime was allegedly committed. I have here the two children who have come back to the scene uh, to pick their footwear and they are going to tell us what actually happened. Not mm. And he points to that tree over there. So at the point where he was about to, you know, carry the gallon of water, which is still lying here, he said that the headsman got up from his seat from there again and came back here. This time he drew uh, his machete and came towards him. At this point, his brother was begging him to forgive him if he has done anything wrong. At this point, the herdsman was butchering the boy and he says that he was shouting that people should come and rescue him. So he tells me that they ran and at a point in time he told his brother that they should part ways so that they would not be caught. And so he took another ten and the brother took another ten. He went home to tell his people. Their father, Anaria, is the strout. The way I've suffered to raise this boy, he was supposed to write his final exams next year. The law should deal with these Fulani people. The killing is raising fears of the return of herdsmen to the area. In fact, uh, not fear alone, panic. Panic, because you, you see, all people, all, 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 all the people here, we are all farmers. Here. This time we, we, we are gathering our, our crops and they will come destroying them. Destroying them, even if you, you tell Abuchi, don't, don't do all. What, what is this? And, and then if we don't calm down, trouble. So we fear even today to, to, to go to the farm. We don't know whether they have been hiding over there. School has reopened, but who will send his child to come? How do you know if the child will come back safely? We were expecting the police and military to be here today to offer protection and to drive these people away so we can go back to our normal duties. Police have since been visiting communities, urging calm. Inspector Bodhi was seen addressing the community. Please, we urge you to send your grievances to the police. Don't take the law into your own hands. Meanwhile, 
three suspects arrested in connection with a killing are receiving treatment at the Agogo Hospital after a near lynching incident. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaredonko, and Shaeso Asantiachem North, Ashanti region. Erasta Sasari Donko is a correspondent in the Shanti region. He joins me with more on this uh, story. Uh, Erasta, what has police preliminary investigations revealed? Investigations, proper investigations are yet to start uh, because then the suspects who were arrested by the community uh, people themselves and handed over to the police has since been in uh, uh, recovery at the Agogo Presbyterian Hospital. And so uh, doctors say they are going to discharge them. Uh, that was hopefully yesterday. Police are saying that after they are discharged is when they will interrogate them. Uh, it's possible also that there will be a parade uh, for the children who survived to be able to identify uh, which one of them uh, butchered the 15-year-old boy. So proper investigations, I, I was told, um, are about to start as they are discharged uh, from the hospital. How is the community uh, coping with this situation? I would say there is, there is total panic. Uh, the people themselves um, are afraid that what the witness, uh, the invasion of Fulani, a headman, as they call it, um, they think that it will come back. Uh, they fear that the killing that went on, the rapes and other things, will still come back. So uh, those who have, have re has reopened, uh, children are not in full swing in many of the schools we visited because they come from the villages through the farms and the bushes uh, to come to school. And parents are scared with this uh, incident that the children will not return safely. And so people are keeping their children at home. Farmers are not able to go to the farm. That is the uh, nature of the situation there. As you rightly put it, this is not the first time you are hearing this. There seems to be a wound which is triggered any time. And then we are recording some of these things. Uh, what's the background to this, Erastus? So uh, back in 2014, uh, thereabouts, we had um, these uh, nomadic herdsmen invasion in the area, and normally it happens in a dry season where uh, there is not so much food uh, for the cattle to graze. And we are not talking about uh, just one cow or two cow uh, uh, cattle. We are talking about a herd numbering about a thousand when they move and over. And so when they set on your farm, it's possible that they will eat everything on the farm. And so around this time when farmers are harvesting uh, uh, the uh, produce, maize, uh, cassava, uh, you know, all that they can grow on the field, the herdsmen are also bringing the cattle to graze. And in some cases, we are told, they are made to even eat the uh, produce from the farm. And so there is that... Uh, a tussle between the two uh, uh, people, each one very, very uh, careful. They don't tread on each, each other's toes. As once uh, somebody, a human being, is killed, uh, forgiveness is not easy. Uh, they come with retaliation. And so if the law does not take its course, then it's possible that this side will also want to retaliate or they will want to protect and arm themselves. And that is what brings the conflict. That is what the people are afraid of. Erasmus Asari Donko is a man on the beat for us. We're still monitoring. We'll bring you updates as and when we get them.